What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Monday Update. Katie and I are just going to catch you up on all the craziness of the weekend. And Katie's not even back to Austin yet. She's only halfway no. back from Cleveland. <laughs> yes, I feel like lately uh, my travels on my leg back home have been uh, delayed and it's proving me right. I'm stuck in Nashville, which isn't a bad place. I'm actually at my sister's. So I'll get to visit with some family after a long weekend at the JBA Rock and Rumble, which was a very exciting club tournament. Yeah, I tell, got us, tell us more about JBA. Who were the best teams? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, you know, like being back, back in club uh, tournaments, it's like a whirlwind, you know, so much going on. But I feel like I got to spend some good time watching a few teams. And one of my most favorite teams to watch was the team that ended up winning the 18 Open Division, the uh, Munciana 18 Samurai team. Uh, they have the setter, Joni Parker, who's going to Ohio State, and then Nia Robinson, who was my MVP of the entire tournament. Just so much fun to watch, uh, who's going to Northwestern. And got to talk with her and her coach a little bit about her. And I didn't know this, but that team is very, very young. I think they have a 15-year-old on the team, and I learned that talking with the coach. And so, you know, that's a tough tournament. It's not, a, it's not you know, all open teams in, like from all over the country. It's pretty much teams from the Midwest. But to win that tournament, there's you have Kiva, you have um, just top level open teams, and to win that is a good sign for them early in the season because they're going to be definitely eye on the national championship. So yeah, very fun. absolutely, I'm excited that you got to see Nia play. She was on our All Americans list and definitely one of the rock star recruits coming out of this class. And what a pickup for Northwestern! So that's going to be oh, awesome yeah. to see her yeah. play there. Yeah, see her in the Big Ten for sure. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, Another team I thought was going to win it all, who was really fun to watch, was Legacy's 17 Elite team. That They have two girls going to Michigan in a Oregon commit, and watching that team and hitting warm-ups was like watching a college team. I was <laughs> shocked, and I thought, you know, I thought they were going to win the whole thing, but they didn't. They got knocked out. I think it was in the semis. So um, they were really fun. And then another team, again, Munciana, their 16 Ninja team was very talented, and they ended up winning the 16 Open division as well. So strong yeah. performance for the Muncie teams. Yeah, great performance for Munciana. So sounds like there were a lot of amazing teams. We can't talk about them all, but if you want to see them in action, we're going to have all those archives up from the JVA Rock and Rumble. They're going up this week, so make sure to check those out. And we also had some men's volleyball action this weekend. Too much to yes. cover, but give you the highlights. I think the biggest story of the weekend was Long Beach. They had a great, great weekend. They played Hawaii twice in a row and actually beat them both times. And the, was this one at Long Beach? Yes, at Long Beach. Long, yeah. Right. And the first match went to five. Long Beach came back from being down 0-2 and just epic, awesome, long match. And then they swept them the next time they played them two days later. So just a great performance for Long Beach. And Kyle Ensing was really the star. He's their sophomore outside hitter. And he had 24 kills in the first match, 11 in the second, led both matches. Just wow. a great weekend for him. So he's our full volleyball player of the week, really. Okay. Yeah. Great job, Kyle. You know, TJ DeFalco gets a lot of credit on that team. He's the other outside. He was the freshman of the year last year. But this kid, same class, just really stepping up this year. Yeah. And what a, that says a lot having played them so soon back to back it's mm -hmm. like they studied that film the first night and definitely came out and proved that they were the better team this yeah, week oh. exactly and I think probably the biggest surprise of the weekend or the week for me was Stanford beating Pepperdine this week um, Stanford was ranked pretty far below Pepperdine but just came out and beat them in four so wow. that was my big upset of the week okay wow there you go men's volleyball a little bit mixing it up yeah make sure to check out our men's volleyball rankings today and of course read up on our player of the week, Kyle Ensing. And I think the only other big volleyball stories of the week were Virginia coach Dennis Hohenschelt yes. resigned. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be looking for a new coach. And then there's a new coach at Montana as well. We have uh, Allison Lawrence is her name, and she was the assistant there before. So now she's going to be their head coach. Okay, so some changes in women's college volleyball. Yeah. Interesting. There you have it. Well, thanks for keeping me up to date because I was buried in a convention center all weekend. I mean, there are worse places to be in Cleveland. You could have been outside. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. It was the 60s. It could have been freezing. It could have been snowing. But all in all, it was a really fun weekend and got to see lots of young talent. So, And Megan, you're up next. You'll be going to the MKE Jamboree for the JVA. Yes. Hitting up Milwaukee in February, everybody's favorite yep. winter destination. <laughs> yep. So you'll get to see lots of the same talent I got to see. Yes. Awesome. Well, we will check you yep. guys later. Yep. See you guys.